Welcome to the stage, the absolutely incredible Nova Mill! Hello, hello. There you are. Hi there. All right, um, let's get started. We've got quite a lot of questions. Which voices are you most proud of, of doing and why? I always go to uh, the Penguin in the Arkham series because A, Rocksteady is a British company. They allowed me to butcher that. That's not true. No, he, he needs to sound on this. It can't be perfect. Uh, but it, that, that, that actually came at a time when everybody said, oh, he's in every game. He sounds the same. And then they were like, oh, that's him. And then it was like, yeah, I'm a Sigmund, sir, and Ratchet and Clank, and this is wonderful. And oh, oh, I didn't know that was him. And it's like, and then yeah, space, going space, space court, and and then uh, oh, I didn't know that was him. It's like yeah, so uh, not to uh, Naughty Dog to do uh, to do a huge departure for that company to do David and Last of Us freaked people out. People people literally were kind of weirded out by that. But, uh, the last mocap scene, it's like okay, but we kind of know we're gonna go in and do um, actual studio work where you sit down and you do some of the. Um, uh, ADR. A lot of people don't know this, I'll tell you. So we do some of the additional dialogue after, so when, once it's rendered and once we're seeing it, uh, I'll watch gameplay. They take gameplay and I literally will sit there with my coffee and watch and it's just... <laughs> I guess I better climb this. Sully! Oh, Sully, damn it. And it's literally nothing scripted. They'll just have me chase the picture and watch it. And they'll pick and choose what they want to use. But it's all those, that's where all the little jumps and the grunts and that kind of stuff comes from. Um, uh, so, it, you know, it happens. And then they can, obviously, every time he, ah! and everybody knows, that, ah! oh, that hurt. Ah. And, it's, and you're literally just sitting there doing it. Sometimes uh, they'll put, um, a matter of fact, in, in the first game, we actually had to put these velvet blankets that they found in the back of the studio because the, the noise was reflecting, and we had to put these, like, it was cold, so we had jackets on and these things, and, and you know, and then these, we had to have, um, the, the microphone is actually Velcro to the top of the hat, now the helmet, so that's where the mic sits. So in order to get the same sound in the studio, they would put the little same mic up here. And when we, <laughs> so that, but they had to put that on another hat. So we had these hats turned backward with a mic and jackets and this big velvet, like it looked like something that was found in an old 20s theater. And there's like three of us sharing it across. And somebody took a picture and it, it looks like three people in an insane asylum. <laughs> And you're like, and all kind of huddled up doing this stuff, and it was it was Sully and uh, and and uh, Emily Rose and I, Richard and, and I, and, and, and sometimes they, they would do that where they then we can actually do these scenes when three of us are together and it's interaction, and that's where some of the great little quips and little ad libs come from, um, not necessarily from the, on the day when we actually shoot it, it's those other things where we just add stuff that everybody likes.